Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to my shame. How messy is this kitchen? But we are going to clean it today to the best of our abilities as well as cleaning the dining room table and picking up toys in the living room with my kids. But before we get to any of those spaces, I did need to clean the carpet in my daughter's room. She had thrown up the night before, and while I did a really good job at cleaning the carpet at 1 a.m. while two other kids were still sleeping in that room, it definitely needed a deep clean. I will link this carpet cleaner down below because it is perfect for my kids and my dog. I'm a huge fan. If there's a world record for how many times you can run your dishwasher in a day in a small apartment, let me know. Um, I think I did it three times in this one day. just cleaning off some mud off of vegetables that I got from my in-laws garden and later in this video we are going to cook that spaghetti squash and it's my very first time doing so so this will not be a great tutorial but you get to see it anyways tends to accumulate all of our clutter and I really wish that it didn't and if you guys have any tips on how to help out with that please help me I don't know why I'm making this cleaning video because honestly my table always looks like this <laughs> If I had realized how often you see my butt in this video, I would have worn different pants. These pants are so amazing for working out at the gym, but they're not that flattering and I don't think I knew that. Nobody comment on it. Your 
those are headphones that I'm wearing over my ears and I finished basically an entire audiobook during all of this cleaning. So if you're behind on your audiobook, do some dishes. This is me struggling to get the self cleaner tool off and I never did it. Um, I need to get my husband to help me because I can't do it. This squash was so much harder to cut than I anticipated. Uh, so I used my watermelon knife and I also later read that you can stick it in the microwave for a little bit to help soften it up and make it easier to cut. such a funny kid she makes me laugh so much anyway this squash is going to go in the oven at 400 degrees for 20 minutes that is if you don't have a broken oven like I do I had to leave it in for a lot longer When I shut my feelings out You look at me like I'm different Still you stay cause you feel something real Get so lost in my moments Doesn't mean I don't need you I, 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 I fell in love with your colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are 
it is actually really difficult to get my kids to clean with me so I don't really have a ton of tips on getting kids to help clean however I will give you this tip it has helped me and my kids a lot when I sweep everything up into a pile. It makes it seem more manageable to just have one pile and you just have to sort through the pile instead of the entire floor being a mess. Although we probably shouldn't let the entire floor get that messy. Uh, uh, uh. Cup after cup, yeah, it's just the way we do it. Anything just to block out the real life, real life. Yeah, we're loving the way they think we're so messed up. up. Even if what we're doing is bad, there's so many emotions. Sharing stories that we never had yet. Now, as I mentioned, I've actually never baked a spaghetti squash before, so I don't have a good recipe for you. But when I asked my Alexa how to make it, it gave me a ton of cool recipes of things you can add to it and do with it. But I just ate it plain because I wanted to. Nobody can see it Still they wanna tear us apart There's something different about the way we are 